It's just like Christmas morning for these students who are having fun showing off their brand new STEM lab at Swanson Elementary to some curious grown-up VIPs. Take Cade Hill, for example. He's trying out the new Bridge Build app. Cade loves bridges. He says he even builds a few homemade versions in his backyard. Yeah, like we have a retaining wall. I built a bridge across it and I can actually walk on it. So it's safe, 100% safe. Yeah. Let's hope it never falls down. For Alessandra Ellis, the Pixie Station is her favorite. You could do like 3D things, you could paint, you could do it in crayon, you could do it in highlighter, it's cool. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We are thrilled and proud to have you all here today. It's really an understatement. Just a few minutes earlier, Swanson STEM Lab officially opened with Swanson student reporters documenting every angle. This is a big deal for a Title I school that was once on the closure list. For the past few weeks, the kids have had some sneak peek time, experimenting with scratch coating, snap circuits, 3D printing, and more. We've just been blown away by their potential and what they've already created. I mean, they were not even getting any instruction. They were just exploring. Just to see the genuine excitement, uh, curiosity, and just passion that they're already showing in just a short amount of time they've been there has been truly inspiring. It's been the same story at Thompson Elementary, another Arvada Title I school which also has a new STEM lab. Their learning is so different in the STEM lab than it is in the classroom. So for some of our kids, you, I've seen them just excel in the STEM lab, whereas a traditional classroom might be a little bit trickier for them. Both labs wouldn't have happened without a $560,000 grant from the Gill Foundation and support from the Jeffco Schools Foundation. Tim Gill, who made it big in tech, is a Wheat Ridge High grad and uses foundation money to affect change in highly impacted communities. Thompson and Swanson fit the bill. We see a lot of students from underrepresented communities that wouldn't normally go into STEM fields, or at least our statistics show they don't go into STEM fields. The whole Arvada articulation area has been doing a lot of work around problem-based learning, tech integration. Um, they were right on the cusp of something like this. Other Arvada elementaries, Seacrest and Hackberry Hill, are set to get Gill STEM labs this summer, with North Arvada Middle and Arvada High to follow next spring, using additional Gill Foundation help. The idea is to create a new K-12 through Arvada STEM pathway. They're able to take that to the middle school and build on that and to the high school. We're doing the work that we're asking kids to do, to be collaborative, to be problem solvers, to be creative in what that might look like and I'm really excited to see what does that look like for our kindergartners now when they get to 12th grade. I can't think of a group more deserving of a special space like this and I'm so glad that we have this for you. This is possible because people love you and they believe in you. All of these people know that you are the future and you guys are going to solve the problems and we talk about a quote that says you have more power in your fingertips than any other generation has had. What are you going to do with that? Bye, audience. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be watching this.